everybody, it's Ruth here again. I am doing morning prayer for you and um, it is eight o'clock, honest. This isn't pre-recorded. Yes, it is. David and I decided that uh, we could just about get away with doing a couple of pre-recorded for these uh, morning prayers just on our, our day off, which is a Friday. So to make you feel like I'm doing this live and that it is eight o'clock in the morning, Gosh, I'm so tired. It's early in the morning. I wish I wasn't awake at this time of the morning. Goodness me, we are dedicated to prayer, aren't we all, for getting up at this time of the morning. I can't wait for it to be uh, a little bit of a later time of day. Honestly, it's not the afternoon. Yes, it is. Um, I decided to come outside because I figured that it's such a pretty day, such a pretty morning that I figured that I would use the outside. And you can hear Mr. Blackbird, which uh, has become famous in my Sunday morning uh, services because he sits up on the uh, up on the rooftop up there and uh, you can hear it coming down the chimney. So here, I think he's in the tree just over there. And he's blimmin' noisy, isn't he? That's the one I think that sits up on the top of my roof and uh, chirrups. So uh, you can have him for morning prayer as well as a Sunday morning. So today's morning prayer is we're going to be using Psalm 28 and uh, I've got a couple of prayers for us a bit later on. So let's start though. Hopefully you've all joined by now. Um, you've all got onto the YouTube channel fine and everything. So uh, let's begin with just a moment of quiet where we can enjoy the silence of nature. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory forever, as your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation. Pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our psalm is Psalm 28. Yep, Psalm 28. So do you read along with me. I'm reading from the TNIV, which is very similar to the NIV and the NRSV. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy. As I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands towards your most holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbours and harbour malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve, because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done, he will tear them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God of Jacob, when the earth shakes and the nations are in uproar, speak, and let the storm be still, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Only one reading today, and that's from Ezekiel, so I shall read that in just a moment, but I'm on the canticle in, on page 8. So let's read this together if you've got the words in front of you. 
The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you and I will remove your body from the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. So our reading is from Ezekiel, chapter 36, verses 22 to 28. So Ezekiel 36, verses 22 to 28. Ezekiel is the one about the, uh, the dragons. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then uh, it actually comes in the passage after this. So if you want to know about the dry bones, the Valley of Dry Bones, which is a great passage of Old Testament scripture, uh, then just carry on after I've read this up to 28 and just read up until 37, uh, 14, and you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'm now going to read 36, verse 22. Therefore say to the house of Israel, this is what the sovereign Lord says. It is not for your sake, house of Israel, that I am going to do these things, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you have gone. I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the sovereign Lord, when I am proved holy through your, through you before your, their eyes. For I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will remove you, I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I will be your God. Amen. So I'm now on the responses on page nine. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. So we're now going to say the Benedictus together. Again, if you have got the words in front of you, do join in with me. Uh, if you know it by heart, do join in with me. I'm not going to say the refrain at the beginning and the end. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. 
in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so our prayers today, I've got one from uh, Julian of Norwich and then one from an unknown source. So let us pray and then I'll pray the one for today for the praying for five. Let us pray. God of your goodness, give me yourself for you are enough for me. All I can ask for nothing less, which can pay you full worship. And if I ask for anything less, all, always I am in want, but only in you do I have everything. Amen. In all my anxious moments, O oh God, I know I shall not be overcome. In all my fears, O oh God, I shall not be overcome. In all my attempts at peacemaking, O oh God, I shall not be overcome. In a world in which there is so much suffering, you will overcome, O oh God. In a world of dying, you will overcome, O oh God. In the tears of the people in the world, you will overcome, O oh God. Amen. And our prayer for the five today. It's titled Celebrate. Pray for yourself and those others the Lord sends to help show your five their route home to God, that they would know the loving Father running to greet them. Amen. I'm going to today leave a moment of silence just so that you can add your prayers to that as well. So let's pray. Amen. So Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Here endeth morning prayer. So I figured that since I'm outside and I've just spent the last 15 minutes doing prayers with you uh, in my garden, I thought I'd just show you a bit of my garden. So um, switch off if you're bored. If I can work out where it is that I turn the camera around. Nope, I can't work out that. So I can't see in this light. Um, so here somewhere is a dog that's looking rather sleepy. In the background, you might be able to see them now, 
are some potatoes, which I'm very proud of. Um, and that whole area there is what I've spent this, hot, this uh, sunny weather digging up because it got very weedy and it's been hard work. If I can manage to stand up, because my leg's slightly gone to sleep. Oh, ouch, it has gone to sleep. Um, so if I come over here, then you can see what's left to do. There, that bit there is what's left to do. Yay, might be my job to do today. Yes, it's Friday. I might well do that today, so I shall be tired tonight. I wish you all a very happy Friday, everybody. Um, thank you for joining me today. Have a really good evening and rest of day.